Well, Walt, it looks like you've published a new book called A Student's Guide to Navigating Culture. Can you tell everyone what this book is about and who it's intended for? Yeah, so I was excited to do this project, Jason, with uh, RYM, Reformed Youth Ministries. They have a series of books for students. It's called the Track Series. They're not big books. Um, you know, they're rather small and manageable, uh, about 96 pages long, and divided up into six to seven chapters with all kinds of discussion questions and things that youth workers and parents can use with kids, but it's primarily for kids. And we know that to be a follower of Jesus Christ means that we follow Jesus as his disciples in a particular cultural context. And in today's world, we want to teach our kids how to navigate youth culture to the glory of God, all the different things that they face. And this is yeah. what this book is designed to do. Uh, give them the kind of information they need to understand what culture is, what a worldview is, get them to be more conscious about this process of following Jesus. And then we give them uh, a paradigm for how to do that. And it's it's great for use in groups. Yeah. And I, and I noticed even the way that you start the book is you kind of start with your own uh, experience, having <laughs> engaged culture in a very particular way, you and your friend Mike off pushing the boundary uh, that your parents have given with where you can and can't go. Can you maybe explain a little bit about that, that story and how it even represents a lot of the, the heart behind what you've written here in this guide? Yeah, so it's really about decision making in the beginning. I try to introduce the concept of decision making and that our decisions have consequences hmm. and following the way of the world. And so I tell a story from my childhood of uh, stretching the boundaries. I won't say what it was we did, but we stretched <laughs> the boundaries in multiple ways. And we were fortunate that we didn't get into a lot of trouble, but uh, it was a way for me to help students understand, yes, the decisions you make today not only have consequences immediately, but have consequences down the road. And we want to make good decisions yes. that bring honor and glory to God, that, that are, are marked by following his will and his way for our lives. Well, I can't think of a, a better tool for students than, than something like this, helping navigate the culture in which they live, because as we all know, we need help. I mean, that was a lot of what Paul would do. That was a lot what, what we find of, of the early apostles of navigating the culture. And a book like this, I think, is so very important. Real quick, can you tell everyone that's watching this where they can grab this book and, and maybe some details about it? Yeah, so the book really is for group use. So what we've done here at CPYU is we're, we're bundling 10 packs together. It's an inexpensive book. So we're, we're, uh, it's on our resource site. You can go, uh, you see it down there on the bottom of the screen, cpyuresourcecenter.org, and you'll find the book there. You can order 10 packs. Uh, it's, it will be released in uh, July of this year, the beginning of July, we expect it to ship them, but we're taking pre-orders now. So it, this is a great tool for you to use when the fall starts and you can actually you know, teach this and then once a month, just engage with a particular aspect of culture. You'll see when you read it, how to do that, engage with a particular aspect of culture and get your kids thinking Christianly and critically uh, with discerning minds about how to follow Jesus in the midst of a rapidly changing world. That's excellent. Well, go check it out, cpyuresourcecenter.org. Uh, it is endorsed by a number of great individuals. Walt, you do such a great job of just looking at the culture, helping others look at the culture. And so we're so grateful for uh, the opportunity to be able to have a resource like this that we can put in our students' hands. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Jason. Thank you.